LeBron Ramon James considers himself to be the greatest basketball player of all time. The moment he realized it was when he brought a championship to Cleveland, Ohio. I will start with Donovan, the analogy god. Mm -hmm. When LeBron James said that he felt he was the GOAT, you felt blank. He's a businessman. Not a businessman. <laughs> <laughs> Content is king. And where did he say that? On one of his 18 television shows. And after he said that, what happened? I it turned went viral. My internet. It, it went, went viral. viral. He's getting impressions. He's getting likes. He's getting money. Content is king, and he's King James, and he wants to go into the media. He doesn't actually really believe that. So wait, you thought you I, think he was savvy of that while saying a hundred percent. I don't. He's think just so. trying to move units. I think he was he was trying to go viral for saying it, yeah, but I don't think it was anything to do with the ratings. I think it was just everything to do with LeBron. Even the way he said it, did you see how he said it? He's like, I felt at that moment. All of a sudden, he's looking down. Yeah, <laughs> Before he's looking down, having a good, I felt at that moment, you know, he starts playing with his phone, like somebody texted him. I felt like that at that moment, you know, I was the greatest player of all time. <laughs> <laughs> he just, this sly smile. It was just like really weird to me. And I'm like, man, like, he, I, I believe he believes he's the greatest player of all time. And I, it, right now. Yeah. But I don't think he's. The great, he thinks he's the greatest player of all time, period. But I think, I think all the top players think they're the greatest. I think KD does, I think Steph does, I, I think do, Harden does. I don't does, think KD does. I think Carmelo <laughs> does. Okay, the point is, are you, are you, do you feel such a way to say it? And I think he knew how it was going to be received, both positive and negative. I just don't think he cares anymore. Yeah, and I don't think he should. I think that, I think he does believe he's the greatest of all time, but I think any guy that ever hit that kind of stratosphere, whether you're talking MJ or like whoever became before them, I think they should think that they're the greatest of all time, especially those two, MJ and LeBron. And I think the funny thing is everyone's pulling out these clips of like back in the day where MJ would say things like, well, I can't call myself the greatest of all time because it's disrespectful to the greats. And they're using that as a way to kind of like go after LeBron now. But if there was clips of MJ saying, yeah, of course, I'm the greatest of all time, Indeed, that is people would be like, this is amazing. This is like prime Jordan, right? He's like, doesn't care what people think. And he yeah. just attacks you. And that's why we love him. But then when LeBron does it, it's like, well, how dare he say this? Wait, did those people watch his Hall of Fame speech? Exactly. It was, it was an informational for him being he, the greatest of all time. He literally said he felt bad for him. His kids because they got to walk in his shoes. Because he is. Oh, let me, let's, <laughs> let me tell you something else out there, though. But th this is oh. peak LeBron because he doesn't care about anybody's feelings. My guy's walking into the arena with a Merlot in his hand. Yep, yep. Like, I love the fact that he is owning all of this and doesn't care. I think when yeah. you're a lifetime billionaire, you can afford to just walk in there knowing you're going to get fined, whatever. Like, let, yeah. let me, okay, go, Joe. I was going to say, and what did Draymond say on his first episode of uh, The Barbershop? He said that LeBron reached that next level when he finally accepted, I am that guy. Like, I am the best. So yeah. I think this kind of goes with that. Like,